Hi and greetings, all of my brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Wendy, and I have a vision, and no, it's not transcribed, uh, as the other vision wasn't. I'm just going to read it, and um, I don't know if I'll get around to transcribing it or not, but feel free if you wish, um, you can, put it in the description box, if it'll fit. Sometimes that's why I put the scripture down in the comments because after I post Father's Word and the scriptures, um, sometimes they don't all fit. So, anyway, I hope everyone had a most glorious day and our precious Savior, who is our all and our be all and our everything and our life and our every breath. Praise be to our glorious God. Let us praise his wonderful name. Our holy God, Jehovah Elohim, God Almighty, the God of the living and not of the dead, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of he reveals things to his children. I worship you. I praise you. And I love you. You are the triune God. You are the Holy Father. The Holy Son and the Holy Spirit. Who can fathom you? Nobody. The Lord is my helper. Of whom shall I be afraid? No one. If God be for you, who can be against you? Nobody. And greater is he, capital H, capital E, that is in me, than he, little h, little e, is in the world. Thank you for your words that slay the enemy, Father. You're ever so wise, ever so lovely, ever so mighty, and you are in control of all things in your word, your perfect word, Father, endureth forever and ever. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but your word shall stand. I love your word. I love your commandments. I love everything about you, my glorious God. I thank you for being my God. <coughs> thank you for being my glorious God who is by my side every more than every moment of the day more than every heartbeat, more than every half heartbeat, and even more than that. For I know you will never leave me nor forsake me. I know that you will never lie to me or deceive me. And I know that you will never harm me. For you have loved me from the foundations of the earth before I was even thought of here on earth. You knew every word, every thought, every move that I'm going to do. What a great God I serve. I love you so much, Father. I praise you. I glorify your holy name. I pray that I produce good fruit for you, Father. And that I always glorify your name. I love you so much. 
in King Yeshua's holy, precious, and mighty name. Amen and amen. Okay, this vision is pretty much an audio vision. I didn't really see anything. It's um, words from our mighty God. I received it 1 February um, last night or this morning. Oh, my memory's so bad. I put vision received 1 February 16. Okay. Obama will become fiercer and fiercer as the days go by. He will begin showing who he really is. He is a hater of men and wants to exalt himself against God Almighty. He will succeed as I, Jehovah God Almighty, allows. But he knows I am in control of his master. He rises up. My children, the Antichrist, rises up. Cleave to my son, Yeshua. Make him your every move. So that's what I heard from God Almighty. Please take this word into prayer. Psalm 51, 17. And I say this all the time to my glorious God. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart. O God, thou wilt not despise. I received this word from Father God Yahweh at 1.14 a.m. on 1 February 2016. My holy child of mine, write my holy and perfect words for all of my children to hear and to obey. My children of all the earth, Father Yahweh, your Papa, is calling, calling, calling to my lost ones. Come to my precious son. Come to eternal peace in my everlasting arms. I am leading and directing hearts to my son now. Hardened hearts that no one thinks can be broken will be. For I will turn the stony hearts into fleshy ones. I will draw you to my only begotten son. For this is a time that I have spoken in my word. This is a time of true repentance. For all have been redeemed through my precious son's sacrifice. It is past the time to be thinking about being saved, but not being born again. Your old life gone that was full of sin and rebellion. Put on the new man through my Holy Spirit. He is your comforter and power from on high. My faithful little ones, you will have my wonderful Holy Spirit forever. He leads you into all truths. For one to be walking in my Son, you must not grieve the Holy Spirit. The natural man cannot understand how God leads his children to the paths of righteousness. For to him, it is foolishness. When my daughter was sent to Florida by my son, she left a job she had been working at for almost 20 years. Did she receive any retirement benefits? No, she did not. It sounded like foolishness to the world, but she knew that is what my son Yeshua wanted her to do. My faithful, she knew because God prepared her, because she was faithful to my son. You must have faith to receive anything from me. Do not lose heart, my little ones. Those who walk in faith completely with my son, you will be taken care of. Not all is revealed to everyone at the same time. Father has his eye on every one of my flock. Father Yahweh, Elohim, Eternal, your Savior, your Redeemer, your Jehovah Nisi, has spoken. Now leave you with an ironic blessing. Numbers chapter 6, 22 to 27. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto Aaron and unto his sons, saying, On this wise ye shall bless the children of Israel, saying unto them, The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. And they shall put my name upon the children of Israel, and I will bless them. In the holy, righteous, mighty, and powerful name. The mightiest name for God has made his name the highest of the high. In King Yeshua's holy and mighty name. 
Baruch Hashem Adonai. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen and Shalom.